All right, let's continue this puppy. So we're gonna type in a little I right here and here, because I'm gonna assume you just came right from the the last video, and we're gonna want to type in is not equal to the compare value that we created. If it does not equal it, that means it must have capitalized, right? When we did the two uppercase, if it was already uppercase and we made it uppercase, then there's going to be no change. So they would equal each other. And then we're going to have our brackets that will go into the next section. But before we do that, let's let's uh, remember to make a little increment here, uh, I++, plus plus, that it goes up one each time it goes in the loop. So let's not forget that. So within this if statement here, yes, this is going to get really deep. We're now going to have to set that j equal to zero anytime that this keeps happening. This is why I created it before up here, because we're going to have to have a nested loop now. So in here, we're going to have a while. And the reason why we're creating a second loop is uh, the reason why this doesn't always work by itself, this if statement right here, is because... Well, if you have all lowercase letters, then you're going to pass this no matter what. We want to make sure they have the other way around, too. So it's going to start back at zero, start at the beginning in here, and make sure that they have... Whoops. Um, the other one. I, I can't even tell which one that we're doing right now. But we're going to be going backwards now, basically. So we're going to type in compare again, and then we're going to change what the compare was equal to. So document equals get elements by ID. And then in here, password. And then after that, we're going to type in dot value, dot char add again. But this time we're going to put, whoops, darn. This time we're going to put in a J instead. Then instead of two uppercase, we're going to type in two lowercase. Yep, just a little bit different from what we did before. And then we're going to have to make another if statement. And this one is quite a bit. So um, inside this if statement right here, and uh, I don't like the way some of this is. What's that bracket for? Is this an extra bracket? It must be. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, darn. It was for this one right here, this if statement. So this while loop should be indented. So it's easier to read everything. There we go. That's uh, a lot better. Let's indent all this stuff. So into this if statement right here, we're going to have to type in document dot get elements by ID again. Can you guess which one that we're going for? Um, whoops. Pass word, and then we're gonna have to type in dot value dot char at j again, and then as we did before, we're gonna have to throw in not equal to compare, which means it did become lowercase. Uh, it was uppercase before, and then it became lowercase. So that means there was a change. So then we can uh, type in again in here document dot get elements by ID and then in here we'll type in invalid three just in case it says this before this is this is a weird one in which in here we'll have to set the inner HTML because that means everything worked so if that means that there was something here we want to make sure it became blank again and then we're gonna have to create a new variable and you'll understand why in a moment so I'm gonna have to create a var k is equal to zero and then down here, we're going to have to set k equal to 1. So I'll click Save. And this is the thing right here that pretty much shows that everything worked. And else if that we're going to have to create here is, well, in case it doesn't work. So inside this, we're going to have to type in j is equal to length minus 1, which basically means this else if will only execute the very last time you're in the loop to make sure, you know, to make sure that uh, it doesn't do this before it has already gone through everything. And, and, k is equal to zero, which means it never became one. That means on its last time through, k never became one. 
So both of these have to be true. It has to be the last time, and k never became 1. And then inside this, I know so much. Again, document dot get elements by id. I, I really hope I didn't misspell anything. In valid 3. And then dot inner HTML will be equal to this way up here. Here it is. The very last one. So I'll cut it and then I'll paste it right here. So now we're going to get that error. So I'll click save. Oh, you wait a minute. Yeah, now I'll click save. So we have our if statement. This is the first if. This is the other if. Then out here with this while loop, we want to make sure we do the just like before, the I++, we want to do the J++ right there to make sure that it goes through each and everything. Well, we're going we're to want to have this thing right here as well uh, for down here. So let's copy this. And then, whoops. So we have this F right here, right? So where, where does it end? There it is. So we're going to throw in a little if right here. And then for this one, instead of J, we're going to make it I and as well as K. So it will work just the same thing. It's just the same, uh, just the same, basically. So it's going to go through all of that. And if you click save, this should uh, pretty much, this is my goodness. Oh, whoops, there was actually one thing I forgot. Um, there we go. Invalid plus equals one right there. And then invalid plus equals one there as well. So that should pretty much take care of everything that we have to worry about. Um, so if I refresh the page, um, let's see here, I click submit and no, did not work. Um, I know this is just this is a disaster. Um, I'll be right back to see if I can uh, figure out what I mis messed up on. All right, I just checked. There was nothing wrong. Everything was working perfectly. Um, there was just one little scenario that I did not include in this, and that was if you didn't type anything in there at all, because then in the the while loop will never execute to begin with, because i will be zero to start with, and if you have nothing typed in there, the length will be zero. So this would never execute. Uh, so what I can do is actually, actually, I mean, you might say less than or equals to, but um, let's just avoid that. Let's just not do that. Let's just be safe and just create a simple, this would just be a simple if statement just in case. And basically, it'll be if length is zero. Uh, so in this, in this we would just type in, uh, let's just throw, let's just copy and paste this. There we go. And then so we'll get that the the third one, the third message in the invalid will go up plus or equals one. So if I save, refresh the page and click submit, and there you go. Now this one actually pops up. If I have a capital A in there, it stays up. A lowercase A stays up. Capital A, lowercase A, then it actually disappears. Uh so let me actually so um there you go, that's proof it works with bullet points, even though you can't really see it. But let me change it to uh text so you can see it. So I click save, then I'll refresh the page, uh, lowercase a, save, doesn't work, uppercase a, still doesn't work, uh, uppercase a, lowercase b, now it does work. And you know, if you throw in your at sign, all you need is the at sign, that's all it's checking for, then it'll know if it's valid. And then, you know, just throw in your name and click submit, and then this thing will open. And at the same time, if something ever happens where, you know, um, maybe this doesn't work anymore. Whoops. But um, but yeah, you just have all your your characters in there, and all these error messages can pop up and whatnot, and everything pretty much works. I mean, you just type in whatever here, and then all of a sudden it's invalid email. If you don't have anything in there, 
and basically just changes uh, accordingly, which I think is just really cool. This is not like uh, live, this is kind of like live validation, but not at the same time. And we'll actually learn live validation when we uh, learn Ajax or, you know, uh, a library of JavaScript. And I will, I will go over live validation at that point. But this is, this is another way of validation, a slower way that doesn't do things automatically as soon as you go on to the next one. But it's still nice. It's, yeah, I think this is pretty nice for the user. And yeah, I hope this was a helpful project to, I don't know, help you with homework or give you really good ideas for your uh, own website, which I, I prefer. I prefer to help you with your own ideas as opposed to stinking homework. The heck with homework, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I hope this was good for you, and I'll see you next time.